This place in Seattle is a unicorn. So is Jerome Rett. We are in the Laser Dome here at the Pacific Science Center, and I am a laser artist. He paints with light to the beat of the music at one of the largest and longest lived laser domes in the world. It's all about beat, so you want everything to be on time, on beat. People have been coming in, laying down, and rocking out since 1976. Yes, you still can lay on the floor, you still bring pillows and blankets, many people do. I thought it was really cool. It's, we're from Florida, so we don't have any experiences like this. It began as the Boeing Space Area, built for the 1962 World's Fair. They switched from outer space to rock and roll in the mid-70s. Legacy laser shows like Pink Floyd still draw crowds on weekends, but so does Laser Childish Gambino, Laser Beyonce, and live shows with KEXP DJs. <laughs> There's even a matinee for Swifties. Laser Taylor Swift, which is one of our newest shows actually, and it's a blast. This is one of the few laser shows left done by humans instead of computers. Some parts are pre-programmed, but laser artists add their own flavor, so no two shows are alike. The lasers that we have now can do things that lasers back then couldn't do, and so it's just always evolving, which I think is really cool. Blasts from laser shows past adorn the control booth, like tapes from an old Michael Jackson show. I think keeping them is a great thing because A, it's like, like a, you know, keeping history alive. Fans leave the laser artists their pressed pennies, love letters, whatever they have on hand. This is our unicorn. I don't know where it came from, but we've kept it in the booth now for years because, I don't know, maybe it's magical, maybe it's not. Definitely magical just like the lasers that have been dancing in this dome for decades.